Oh, sorry. This is so good. Okay, so in the comment section, somebody named Jonathan Kieran responds, What the fuck? This was a kill fee piece? Are they out of their minds? Give me a minute. I'm speechless. This is truth told with charisma, style, and authority. Um... If they had withered raisins to publish this, it would have been the hottest, fleshiest burst of former glory the gray lady has released from her girdle in years. <laughs> I can't do it. Okay, so let me just like comment on this for a second. So the Times, it used to be this place where like real writers would come and publish shit, and like they had, they could have, they could have literally had. We could have columns, okay, where we were getting Carrie from Sex and the City, but no. We had to use YouTube and Substack to do it because of all the, like, elitism, the classism. Like, be serious now. Like, how do we have Karen Steffens giving talks at universities, but she couldn't get a column at the Times about relationships when this bitch has had relationships with everyone in Hollywood? Like, get come the fuck on. Be serious. She shouldn't have a column. And the fact that she doesn't is hilarious. It's fucking hilarious. I mean, really, be serious. Think about it. I don't know. I guess this is like another writer who's her friend. Um, this is like another comment. I think these are actually pretty good. Um, so astute as usual and scathingly funny. The New York Times has obviously lost whatever was left of their edge. That's the kind of interesting story they should be printing. That's true. Um, I'm equally appalled by this phenomenon of endorsing the manufacture and fabrication of the filtered personal brand. That is a whole take. Designed to influence and hold sway over impressionable people for the promotion of commerce. It's all pay for play, better known as payola, which is illegal in other industries. When did people become such sheep? Uh, what's just as confounding to me is that nothing is considered sacred enough to be kept private and sharing has become a compulsively competitive sport or decorum I feel unspeakably prissy uttering this word as has left the building in my opinion mystery is a far greater aphrodisiac but on a brighter note while it may look like the bleak are inheriting the earth there's a growing contingent of younger, hyper-aware humans who do not buy into this bullshit at all. Huh. Okay, this, this chick is actually pretty interesting. Um... So she's got another piece. It's like, uh, wow, this is so good. Uh, so I only know, well, I mean, I've known about Substack for some time, but Ann Coulter writes for Substack, and it looks like if you're really trying to get your shit published, just put it on Substack. Substack for the win. For the win. 